and here we are at the Church of Scientology in Gothenburg, Sweden. They have an upstairs premises. There are three lights on upstairs only and the rest of the building seems to be in complete darkness. So let's go inside to see how busy they are. The building is fairly dilapidated which is in true Scientology style. Right, as you can see, they're on the second floor. No other businesses seem to be active in this building, possibly because they don't like their neighbors. The name of this solar system is Space Station 33. 33. Run them, you try to do this, you try to do that, straight on through. And Here we you go. Find okay, let's try case, them. You're finding the phenomenon of entities, communications, space ships, other planets, locations, beingness in other states, and all of this, and you find this to be a consistent condition. It you appears the lights are on, but there's nobody home. Definition of the message. You're like every Scientologist I know. Okay, so it's just a front they're putting up. So some poor bastard has come in here every day, put on the lights, and fuck off again, basically. Let's try them again. They started to use this, this area without suspecting that the fourth invader force had been there for God knows how many skillion years down and they have their installations up on Mars and they have tremendous screen operations. The Mars is a fascinating operation simply because it has gone into 100% holding point and it does everything it does with tremendous coversion. I think we've seen enough here to know that Scientology is well and truly dead in Sweden, well in Gothenburg anyway. However, I will leave for them a little gift. So, I shall leave for them this small trinket of truth. 